One of the things I often look for when reviewing the camera on a new smartphone is versatility. Can it do what I want, when I want? And does it provide useful, well-designed features I'll use more than once? Well, on paper, the new Huawei P40 Pro Plus ticks all those boxes. What's it like in real life? First, some numbers. Inside the large camera module on the back of the phone is a 50 megapixel wide angle standard lens, a 40 megapixel ultra wide, an 8 megapixel three times optical zoom telephoto lens, and a second 8 megapixel 10 times optical zoom lens. And all of this was created with the help of camera experts Leica. What else? Well, there's also a depth sensor, uh, there's optical image stabilization, stabilization using artificial intelligence, 4K video recording at 60 frames per second, and a dual lens 32 megapixel selfie camera on the front. I mean, it really does appear to have everything. But then, so does the regular P40 Pro. What makes the Pro Plus different is the 10x optical periscope zoom inside here. The amount of mirrors that there are, they make it look as if the zoom lens falls through the other side of the phone. It's really impressive when you see it. What makes it so special is the amount of detail in the photos you take at this zoom level. The photos avoid that digitally processed look that comes with a hybrid zoom, which until now has been needed to get any kind of 10x zoom on a camera phone. Crucially as well, the image in the viewfinder is steady enough that 10x zoom is usable for taking shots of wildlife or moving objects, really letting you do things that aren't possible at all with other smartphone cameras. 10x does get you very close indeed though, so it's great to have a 3x optical zoom it ends up getting used more without any sacrifice in quality. The wide angle lens on here has a slightly narrower field of view than phones like the iPhone 11 Pro, but this tends to help focus attention in pictures while still having that great sense of scale. Photos taken with all of the lenses look fantastic, but it's not faultless. Huawei still needs to work on the tuning for some of the 10x shots in particular, and the exposure levels across the camera in general. How about video? On sunny days, the results really are superb. They're vibrant, clear, and emotive. Stabilization is also excellent, and the zoom mode works too, although the results aren't quite as good as you get with the stills camera. Dig into the menu and you'll find various special modes, and they include a time-lapse mode, a slow motion video mode at various different speeds, and even those that use artificial intelligence to change how the background of your video looks. So you're watching the Huawei P40 Pro Plus, and one of its special artificial intelligence camera modes. This is AI background. And what it does is it blurs the background around me using artificial intelligence. So here's the second artificial intelligence video camera mode on the P40 Pro Plus. This is AI Color. As the name again suggests, this should be putting me in color and everything around me in black and white. This is one of its various live filter modes, the ND filter giving a black and white look. I'm recording this with the microphone on board the phone and handheld so you get an idea of the stabilization and the sound that it picks up. All of these are examples of the versatility that I always look for. Strong features like the zoom and the wide angle that I can use often, and they're joined by fun modes that I can experiment with. So the camera then is a winner. How about the software? Well, there's no Google Apps on board. So you have to visit the Huawei App Gallery, or you can use the Amazon App Store, or you can download APK files separately to get the apps 
that you need. It's not that big a deal depending on how you live your mobile life right now. If you rely on Google, whether it's Google Maps, Chromecast, Google Home or a Wear OS smartwatch, you'll find it a bit of a pain. However, if you're outside the Google app ecosystem already, then it really isn't so bad. There's alternatives to everything out there. So with a little bit of adjustment, you can easily live without Google Apps. Just be aware of all of this before you consider buying a modern Huawei phone. And the good thing is that Huawei makes the app situation very clear the instant you visit its website. So should you be considering the P40 Pro Plus over the P40? Well, before we really get into that, let's talk a little bit about the P40 Pro because it's really pretty similar to the Pro Plus. You have the same 6.5 inch OLED screen on the front. You have the same Kirin 990 processor and 5G inside. You have the same fast charging battery, which incidentally lasts an incredibly long time. On the back, you have basically the same camera. There's two lenses in there that are exactly the same, the 50 megapixel ultra vision camera and the 40 megapixel cine camera. They're both the same. It's only the periscope zoom and the second zoom lens that's different on the P40 Pro Plus. Even the selfie camera on the front is exactly the same. Dual lens, 32 megapixel. Of course, the main difference is that 10x periscope optical zoom, and it is excellent, but the P40 Pro is hardly lacking in camera features. The Pro Plus also has this lovely ceramic back. It's cool to the touch and it has a, a wonderful silky smooth texture that's ever so slightly different to glass. But then the matte glass finish on the back of the P40 Pro is also pretty special. There's some extra weight in the Pro Plus and some extra money is needed to buy one. The P40 Pro Plus is £1,299 compared to £899 for the P40 Pro. Ouch. Nice though the P40 Pro Plus is, and I really do appreciate the technical complexity of the camera, and am very impressed with the photos that it takes. The P40 Pro is excellent value compared to it, seeing as it does almost everything that the Pro Plus can. I think that the P40 Pro really does have enough Huawei camera goodness inside it for most people.